Professor Semenzato. Uh, could you tell us uh, some of the main benefits uh, of the medical and psychological um, health of green cities? Certainly. Uh, well, I started my presentation uh, with a citation from Vitruvius uh, from the Ten Books of Architecture, where uh, just to show that even in ancient times uh, uh, the uh, benefits of uh, open spaces and human health were well uh, known and understood. Of course now we have uh, a much more in-depth knowledge of uh, what are the mechanisms that can uh, induce uh, well-being uh, to the city population uh, through the use of uh, the green infrastructure. Uh, there is a lot of work uh, both in the uh, medical field and in the psychological field uh, the new field of environmental psychology has produced a lot of information on uh, how green spaces can uh, uh, reduce stress in, uh, in people and can uh, uh, solve many of the problems related uh, with the stress induced by urban life and uh, the, the city uh, situation. Also on physical health, plants we know can uh, cool the air, uh, reducing the urban heat island effect. They can uh, absorb uh, uh, pollutants. Uh, they can have an effect on PM10 and PM2.5 uh, uh, by filtering them. And so they can have a strong benefit on uh, some physical problems. They, they also can, uh, a nicely structured green infrastructure can also provide the spaces for uh, recreation and especially for uh, physical activity. Obesity and lack of physical activity it's a big problem uh, that can cause uh, cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, uh, high blood pressure that not only are a problem for human well-being but are also a cost for society. So investing in urban green spaces can be extremely useful also from this perspective, from an economic perspective, because it can uh, uh, reduce the cost for the national health system.